Hello, my brothers and sisters. Today, I'm gonna be showing my friend Tina from Ghana how I make cabbage. I don't know if I should say the Jamaican way, but it's kind of the Jamaican way because there's a little twist to it. So I'm gonna use all our vegetables inside the cabbage. So we have tomatoes, onion, garlic, sweet peppers, carrots, and scallions or green onions. And then for the fish, you know, Jamaicans, we use salt fish in our cabbage or you can make cabbage and corned beef, cabbage and sardine, whatever you want, even cabbage and chicken back. So today I'm gonna to be using this Ghanaian fish called kaku and I mix the kaku with some um, sardine because I'm not sure how kaku tastes, but kaku is actually like a salted fish and I figure that's the best option I have. But just to be safe, I add it with some um, sardines. And this is our cabbage right here, all cut and in the water. The big thing I learned about Ghana, they don't cut their cabbage, then rinse it. They actually rinse it, then cut it because they believe that they will lose all their nutrients if they um, cut the cabbage, then wash it. But in Jamaica, we cut it and we wash it with salt water or vinegar because we believe that if there's any insects on our cabbage, it got to go when we cut it, it's not gonna go in our food. So that's it. So I have my pot on the fire and I'm gonna show First you the off, next. We're gonna put our vegetables in the oil on the stove and then we're gonna saute them and then I'll show you the so next. We're gonna start off with our onions. So we put them in there and then our garlic and also the green onions or the scallions. So those are the first ones that we're gonna add in and we're gonna saute them until they become translucent. So now all of our onions and our um, scallions and garlic, they're all being sauteed and you can see right there that they're becoming translucent and beautiful and the smell is just so awesome. So I'm gonna add in the tomatoes and the um, peppers and um, once I put that in, then I will add the fish afterwards. While our vegetables are sauteed, we're gonna add some spices to it. Normally in Jamaica, we'll add black pepper to our cabbage and pretty much that's it. Some people will add some seasoned salt, pretty much that's it. I don't really have much of an option here. So I'm gonna add this um, soup seasoning. It's called Sankofa. So I'm just gonna add a pinch of it. And then I'm gonna add some pepper, which is just a regular grinded um, pepper that is available in the market. And then I'll add a pinch of rosemary. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna be adding. And I'll add it right now. So now all of our vegetables, they're all nicely sauteed, all the spices is in, and it's just quite nice and aromatic. We're gonna add our fish. So the fish we're gonna be using is the Ghanaian, kaku, and also a sardine. So we're gonna add that in right now. And then once that is all in, we're gonna just let it simmer for about two minutes. And then we're gonna add our cabbage and our carrots. So right here you can see all of our wonderful um, vegetables and kaku and sardine, they're all nicely sauteed. We're gonna add our cabbage inside. So we're gonna put the cabbage in right now. And then after that, we're gonna add our carrots. So put the cabbage in for me, please. My brothers and sisters, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And um, I hope you're enjoying my little treats from my meals that we're making here. So lots of cabbage we're adding. So it's one cabbage and um, vegetable is totally up to your discretion. You can add any amount of onions you want, any amount of um, garlic is totally your discretion. And then let's put in the rest of the cabbage now. Okay guys, so that's the cabbage right there. So it's all steaming down nice and beautiful. And you can see all the vegetables and all the fish, everything that's there. So it's just gonna be a few more minutes and it's gonna be all set and our cabbage is ready to be eaten. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have a beautiful cabbage meal, please feel free to share it. Okay, so that's the cabbage, it's practically finished now. So this practically with the preparation and everything takes about um, 45 minutes. Um, the cabbage itself cooking in the pot or steaming in the pot takes maybe about 10 minutes. So um, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna prepare it and put it all in a plate with some plantains and I'll show you the final product of this steam cabbage, my style or Jamaican style, whichever you choose. Okay. Okay, that's our final product of our steam cabbage. And guess what? There's a surprise. I have a Ghanaian favorite here called Kenke. And this is a Ghanaian, you wanna come explain it, um, Tina? The Kenke, what the Kenke is? Fancy Dokman, Fancy Kenke. 
Okay, so it's a fancy kenke and it's total Ghanaian and it's added to the cabbage and it's gonna top it off. It's gonna be delicious. And we're gonna have the Ghanaians taste this cabbage and also, or my, I mean, they have um, planting every day, but really they're just gonna taste the cabbage and give their reactions as to how it tastes. So we're gonna have Mr. Emmanuel come and taste the cabbage and he's gonna give us his reaction. And Tina will also taste the cabbage and give us her reaction. So you can go ahead and Enjoy your cabbage. Take a big amount of cabbage. <laughs> Take a big amount of cabbage. Do you want your? Huh. Let's see your reaction. <laughs> Tastes good. It tastes good? Very good. Really? It tastes nice. Okay, so let's get Tina's reaction. Okay, so I'm about to taste the Jamaican steamed cabbage. Okay. Jamaican with a Ghanaian flair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Delish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that there you have it. So we have our nice steamed cabbage with our kenke and also our plantains. And the Ghanans had passed me. They gave me a pass mark that I can cook cabbage, so our steamed cabbage. So my friends, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Comment and let me know if you have a better steamed cabbage recipe. And if you have a better Ghanaian meal that you can use cabbage with, share it with us. And we'll be happy to display your talent on our channel. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.